What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. Today I'm going to try and film this super quick because I am under a thunderstorm watch, uh, which could turn into a warning, which means I'm going to lose power uh, because I seem to always lose power every time we have a storm. Uh, so what did we do last week? Well, of course, there was the uh, last Sunday wrap up, uh, which I talked about all the other videos, uh, plus about Stranger Things uh, and how Vecna is coming for us all. Uh, I keep watching bonus content uh, from part one of Stranger Things, uh, and I cannot wait for July uh, when part two comes out. Uh, really stoked for that. Um, so if you want to hear me nerd out over Stranger Things, plus all the other videos that I talked about, uh, check out last Sunday. Um, but after that, on Monday, I talked about creating my dream fountain pen. So I sat down and I thought about all of the things that I would want and also not want uh, on my fountain pen. Should I ever be able to design that? And I had a blast. Like I had like a full blown page of notes that I really enjoyed um, creating and dreaming about. And man, oh man, do I wish I could actually make it now. Um, and then on Friday, I posted a review of um, Pen Ventures exclusive fountain pen, the Montegrappa Zero Chrysocola, uh, which was really fun to do. Uh, again, big thanks to Emmy from Pen Venture for sending this to me. Uh, it will be on its way back to you very shortly. Um, so definitely check that out. That is a limited edition pen. Uh, so if you're even remotely curious about it, um, and you haven't yet watched my video or Emmy's video, uh, go do that soon um, because there's only 30 in total, 20 with steel, 10 with gold nibs. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Um, the week did pretty average as far as, you know, general views go. Um, nothing, nothing to break the bank with, but, uh, but pretty, pretty average. Like nothing that was like, oh man, that did not go over well at all. Um, so we shall see uh, what happens with that. Um, but upcoming, we got some goodies. Uh, so upcoming videos, uh, I'm doing, where is it? Do I have it here with me? No, I guess I don't. Uh, so upcoming next week, um, on Monday, I'm gonna be doing a review of um, Leonardo Memento Zero Magico. Uh, so that is their piston fill pen uh, with the like new emerald trim and I also have the um, elastic extra fine nib on that. That is a pen that I purchased with my own money uh, from Emmy from Pen Venture, but he didn't send it to me for the review or anything like I actually bought that pen. Uh, so that's coming out on Monday. On Friday, um, I have a review a lot of different Tasia, Tasia uh, paper um, that was sent to me from Emmy from Pen Venture. Um, so stay tuned for that. Tuesday, there might, might be a surprise video, um, but unsure yet. <laughs> I am working on a little something something, uh, but I don't want to spoil and then disappoint. Uh, so there might, might be. So lots of good stuff coming up. And obviously Sunday here watching this, I hope you all are having a great Sunday. Um, sorry, this was starting to fall. Uh, so yeah, good stuff there. Um, lots, of, lots, lots of good stuff coming up on the pens and tea. Um, I finished uh, a giveaway as well um, for the Opus 88 that I did uh, last two weeks ago. Um, so I will be announcing that very shortly, um, but I have selected the winner and uh, it may or may not be selecting a new one for the Patreon giveaway that I did last week. Uh, I talked about that in my last Sunday. I gave them two weeks to respond. I've reached out to them a couple times and I've got no response back. So I may have to do that again soon. So that'll be interesting. Uh, check out the link in the description if you want to check out my Patreon account uh, and support me in what I do here. Um, 
not because I do giveaways over there. I do giveaways here too, um, but just because you want to help support me do what I do because I don't do giveaways every month. I just do them for funs, funsies every once in a while. Um, but I continue to do them here as well for those who are not on Patreon, which is totally cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so what has been going on in the personal world? Well, the weather's been crazy. Uh, we've been going from like tornado level heat and soupy atmosphere grossness to basically freezing my tatas off uh, back and forth. So it's been an interesting summer so far. <laughs> um, I have a, an interview on Tuesday, which I'm a little bit nervous for, for a promotion that I'm up for. Um, so we shall see with that. Uh, it is very exceptionally stiff competition for it. Uh, it's basically me and like now 50 other people for one position. So we will see. <laughs> uh, at the very least, I'll get the more experience on just interview styles and techniques and stuff. Um, I think I'm okay at interviews. I don't think I'm stellar at them, but we'll see <laughs> um so i have that upcoming which i'm pretty nervous about um mostly because I th i'm ready for the job but i know that there's so many of us that are ready so it's it's a it's a it's a catch-22 a couple of my friends that i'm rooting for are also up for the same one so yeah it's 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 an interesting time because I think they deserve it too, but obviously I want it for myself. So it's a weird, it's a weird spot to be in, uh, but we'll see how that goes. And either way, I'll let you know um, <laughs> on a Sunday's wrap up. Um, I also went to the cottage uh, for a few days, which was really nice to get away. Uh, and I mean, I, I love my cottage so, so much. All I do is basically read there and just chill and have fun. Um, I've been slowing down on reading. I have not been reading at the level in which I would wish that I could. Um, but I've just been busy. I've been busy. Like work is picking up. We're coming into summer, you know, hanging out with more friends now that uh, it's nicer out and, you know, there's not as many rules and regulations around living anymore. Um, sort of a live at your own risk <laughs> with what's going on. Um, so I've just, you know, not had as much time and I've been playing, uh, Far Cry 6 on PlayStation 5 in a little bit of my downtime, um, cause it went on sale a little bit. So I picked that up. Uh, I've been enjoying that game quite a bit, actually more than I thought. So I had Far Cry 4, um, and I only played about a third of it before I kind of got over it real quick. Um, but I've been enjoying this one. Giancarlo Esposito, uh, plays the main bad guy who I hate um, because basically he's one of those things. He, he played the one of the bad guys in Breaking Bad and I hated his character in Breaking Bad so much. Uh, he did such a good job in that role that whenever I see him anywhere else, uh, I just hate him instantly. He also played a bad guy in an episode of Bones. Uh, <laughs> I think season two uh, of Bones, maybe season three, but somewhere early. Um, so every time I see him now, I just hate him. So it's perfect because he's the bad guy in the video game and he's a really bad guy, like a dictator bad guy. Uh, so that's a thing. Um, but yeah, and I've still been plugging along with the, um, healthy eating, um, been cooking a lot more, which is nice. Um, so still, still trucking with that. Uh, I am very likely going to join a gym soon. I'm thinking uh, basically the start of July. There's a little healthy competition at my work for July to uh, basically close all your rings on like an Apple Watch kind of thing. You don't have to have um, like an Apple Watch to do it as long as you have like an iPhone or something or, or something like a fitness tracker basically. Um, and it's you're on a team, so it's not like it's not like crazy competition or anything, but it's healthy competition, I would suppose. Um, so I'm on a team of four people, um, and so we're all gonna try and be really fit for the month of July. So I figured joining a gym would be the perfect time. Uh, and I'm thinking I might hire a personal trainer for the first time in my entire life because I don't know what I'm doing at the gym. I've never been 
ever in my life. Well, that's not true. I went once in college, but I just stayed on the Stairmaster because it was so busy and I was so overwhelmed and insecure and unsure of what to do that I just didn't do anything. Uh, so there was that. Um, but I'm thinking of hiring a personal trainer for a few months. Uh, I have reached out to someone that I used to know through my work that does that. Um, at least for the first few weeks to just get a foundation going, learn what I'm doing, you know, that kind of thing. Um, Cause my biggest fear right now is just hurting myself because I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> so that's basically a quick, 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 quick summary uh, before it storms. It is sunny right now, as you can tell from the window onto my face, but it's gonna turn real fast. Uh, as, as it always does. So so guys, thank you for joining me this week. Uh, like I said, check out last week's stuff if you haven't yet, especially the review for the Monte Grappa because once the pens are sold, they're sold and you can't get them again. Um, and like I said, stay tuned. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so that you don't have to worry about coming back and forth all of the time. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday with the occasional rando potentially on Tuesdays. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see more like it. Do check out the link below uh, if you wanna help support me in Patreon um, because that goes a very, very long way uh, to helping me continue these videos. Um, but as always, if you're still watching this far in, you, specifically you, are the reason I make these videos. So, thank you. And I'll see you next time.